welcome to Tickly Mouth. Today is a very special day. Evie has just turned two. Yeah. So I'm gonna make her birthday cake. Aren't I? Yeah. Ooh, I've chosen gingerbread cupcakes. You could always make this with any other cake that you desire. Feel free to skip the cake making part and go straight to the decorating bit, which is here. Helpful, helpful. <laughs> As you can see she is loving trains at the moment so I thought what better thing to do and I have gone for my mum's Jane Asher book and I'm gonna make the train! You can do this as homemade as you like. You can either buy some Swiss rolls and chop them up and then they have a really easy way of doing this. I however am gonna go for the homemade option just because that's kind of my thing that I like to do. I've decided to go for Honeybird Bakery gingerbread cakes. I'm going to use a loaf tin for the engine section of the cake Then I've got these individual cool little square brownie type pans and I'm going to make these for the carriages Too deep for each carriage First things first, a bowl Then you want 140 grams of unsalted butter Yeah! Add 200 grams of caster sugar uh, Cream these guys together until they're pale and fluffy Pale and fluffy. Pale and fluffy. Pale and fluffy. Pale and fluffy. At which point you need to add 60 grams of black treacle and 60 grams of golden syrup. Black treacle that I wish you saw. Ooh. Syrup. And then stick in two eggs. Ah. And two egg yolks. For this you'll need a little cup, lightly crack the egg, open it, keep it the same way up and just catch the yolk in one of the sides of the shell, letting the white just drizzle out like this. Swap sides, egg, one yolk, same again. Whiz this baby up until everything is combined and smooth. Like that. Now heat yourself up 240ml of milk either in the microwave or in a saucepan. While your milk's heating up, sift out 310 grams of plain flour. With a teaspoon of ground ginger, a tablespoon of cocoa powder, a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. I'm going to grate mine. A teaspoon of ground cinnamon, two teaspoons of baking powder, yeah, and the recipe says a teaspoon of salt, but I'm gonna back off the salt a little bit and just do a couple of grinds. Sift, 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 sift. Don't forget to listen out for your milk, just watch that it doesn't catch on the bottom of your pan or boil too hard. Then add half of this to your wet mixture, mix it all up. Wow. Yeah? Yeah. Then half of the milk. I've never done a recipe with hot milk before, have you? Yeah. You have? Is it nice? Yeah. Okay. Don't forget to get all around the sides as well. The rest of this in... Zoom, zoom, zoom. This is smelling like absolute heaven, isn't it? Yeah. And the last of the hot milk. Oh. In. Until you have an amazing smelling smooth mixture, preheat your oven to 190 degrees C and we're going to line your cake tin. Ah! Where's mummy gone? I have no idea. So line your tin with baking paper. This does not have to be neat at all because you're going to be shaping your train, also covering it in icing. Just pour them in. I'm just gonna do little lifty outy tabs. I'm gonna do these guys half full. You don't have to have these shaped tins. You can just use your imagination with the tins that you've got to make the shapes of the chain. You could even make it in one big tin and then cut it all up into chunks. The cupcake recipe says 18 minutes. 
So I reckon these guys are smaller, so maybe about 12 minutes. And this one is a lot bigger, so I'm going to go for about 25 minutes. Yummers! Once your cakes are lovely and cooked and out of the oven, leave them to cool completely before you decorate them. Because otherwise you get soggy icing. Evie's gone for a nap, so it's a good opportunity for me to do all the cakey bits where she would be pointing at it and going, Yay! Once your cakes are sort of halfway cool, stick them on a wire rack to cool the rest of the way. Oh, my little taggies worked a treat. While these little babies cool fully, you're going to make your icing. So you're ahead of the game. Always ahead of the game. Ahead of the game. Ahead of the game. I'm dizzy. I'm dizzy now. 100 grams of butter. Choppity chop. Just give that a little bit of a go. Just to start it off. And then you want 600 grams of icing sugar. Lick the air. Tastes like sherbet. Now whiz this up until it's quite sandy in texture. Slowly. Icing sugar is hot. If you want it to get less everywhere, do this bit with a wooden spoon. Like this one in my hand right now. Then it's 250 grams of full fat cream cheese like Philadelphia. And then, you know, mix this up as well. Till it looks like that. I'm going to keep aside a little bit just so I can change it into a different colour and stick the sweeties into the carriages. Then get yourself a lemon and zest it into your icing. It's going to be scrummy. I have no idea what colour to make my train. I have yellow, turquoise and red. I don't know, I don't know. Can you please shout at your computer screens and that can be our voting system. Okay, ready, go! Yeah, you're right, turquoise it is. It is at this point that a bread knife is your friend. Alternatively, you can use any kind of awesome, cool cutting contraption. I'm gonna cut it in half lengthways so that it has a little bit of buttercream in the middle. Okay, now we need to shape it into train shape. Just do this bit by eye. You'll be fine, trust your instincts, and go for it. And any little tiny mistakes can always be rectified with icing. And once you're happy with the shape of your big loaf, start chopping off the tops of your mini sponges so that they lie flat. Keep your offcuts to the side because you don't know if you might need them for a bit of shape. You're going to need a really big cake board to present this. I'm actually going to use this because uh, this comes away. But if you wanted to do it on a smaller scale, you could just use a normal size cake board and have it sort of curving around itself. And let the icing begin. Wanting more of a train shape, so I'm going to stick that there. Mine's looking more like a submarine than a train, but never mind. Fridge. Now do the same thing with your carriages. Paint around the sides with your buttercream. I just had some nice story time with Evie and she has now gone to bed, got my unicorn pyjamas on. Yep. Carrying on is going absolutely everywhere. For effect, we could always stick some felt on first, so it looks like grass. <laughs> you there. I'm gonna cut you down to size. Oh, that'll do, won't it? Then decide which way your train is going to go. Do you want it going in a curve, or do you want it to go diagonally, or just straight across? We're going to lay the track right now. Get yourself some chopped mixed nuts. If you're a more careful person than I am, you might want to draw this out before you do it, but I ain't like that. As you can see, I've done long mint flavour matchmakers across to make the railway track, and then licorice that you get from these Catherine wheels to go along my railway track. Yippee! I'm gonna stick some mini rolls down amid the tracks. Fish slice, ahoy! Lift! More mini rolls for the carriages. I'm just gonna put a bit of that white icing on top of each carriage so that I can stick some sweets in. If you have got any slight subsidence going on with your carriages, just stick half a mini roll underneath in the middle and it should just hoist it up. Now, 
I leave it up to you to do whatever decorations you like. I would suggest Rolos, Minstrels, Flumps. I've got little candy multicoloured letters that I might write the name Evie on the front. You could draw windows with gel icing. Just use your imagination and have fun and I will see you in a minute when I've completed mine. <laughs> I think I'm done. The kitchen's an absolute mess. The engine of my train looks a bit more like a car than a train, but overall I'm really happy. <laughs> really happy with that, even though it's taken me 10 hours, as well as looking after a toddler. That's kind of okay, right? And filming. Filming takes a while. So I would give up about half of your day to achieve this if you are free as a bird. I'm gonna try it tomorrow with my whole family for Evie's family birthday party. Hopefully, the cake will be a success. I've got to clean my kitchen now. Happy birthday to you. Yay! 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 Evie, can you blow out the candles? Oh. Girl, come up close, I'm stand closer. by closer. Real good girl, right, ready again. Her up. Yay. 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 Well done, you. Yay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> good girl.